Hey guys, so I wanted to open up with that clip of Rod Pampling doing the Hogan Roll because I hear a lot of people asking me questions about the Hogan Roll and when you do it. And if you look at this video by uh, Mr. Pampling, you'll see how the club gets squared and it's just going straight through the impact zone, no trouble at all. So um, the second thing I wanted to talk about today is a lot of people I think have a misconception about the deep backswing. And what I see people doing is uh, they're actually getting the club stuck too far behind them and the only way to reroute the club is over the top. Actually your hands can go deep while the club head doesn't get put behind you. And the secret of this is your right arm needs to stay higher than your left arm if you're a right-handed golfer. So if you find that the label on your glove hand or your left hand starts pointing to the sky early, then you're gonna have a problem. What I try and do is feel that right arm higher than the left, feel my label on my glove or the back of my left hand more pointed towards the ground, and that's gonna steepen your shoulder angle uh, and not allow you to get uh, stuck in that, that funky position way behind you. So why don't you give it a try? And, uh, and I'm looking forward to going out and playing some golf with my friend Jeff. So this should be a lot of fun today. I heard a rumor that Mr. Hogan said it took 20 years to understand the backswing, and once he did, it only took 20 minutes to understand the downswing. Cool shot. 